Hey kids, day one of Misty's uh, finally in the books. Are we talking to kids or are we talking to the adults? Sorry, used public. to the children. So whoever's watching, all of you out there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, day one in the books. At ISTE, the and International Society of Technology and Education, in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. In Atlanta, Georgia, and I didn't think we'd make it here after our dinner debacle from last night, which. Uh, Everywhere we went in downtown Atlanta, I happened to have a two-hour wait. It took us an hour to figure that out. So <laughs> at eight thirty at night. At yeah. eight thirty at night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was tough, but we found a nice little place in a quiet with little no alley weight. with no wait called Slice. So if you were in downtown Atlanta, Slice had no wait. It was excellent. Kind of out of the way. Out of the way. Of course, after walking all that way, anything would have been right. Possible. Right. Uh, but it was very was very good. So uh, Christine and I had our presentation stuff this morning about uh, Nomeo and the Teach House, and that went super fabulous. Yeah, it's super fantastic. And, uh, and then right off the bat, what'd you, you were in the Expo Hall this morning. I was. Could, First so. thing, Expo Hall. And how did you manage to get in and out of the Expo Hall twice with, and only get a cup? I feel like you should I was, have I was just, it was I've sens- never gotten It was sensory cup. overload. It was just so much. It just it couldn't take it all. It all I got was a whistle. By I got a whistle too. I think that game was rigged. You got oh, I got a magnet. I got a magnet. The whistle, the whistle thing was rigged though. Uh, Just because you didn't pick I up, I got So, at minimum, we got our eye on you. Uh, yeah, we the all want whistles. People, so, the, plink, the Plinko, the there's plinko. something statistically a little off yeah, there. There's weights, uh, weights and magnets in the board uh, for Plinko. I agree. Is that physics? There was only like two grand prizes in the bottom of that. Did you ever notice? There's like 14 grand Yeah, prizes. that's true. Uh, it's odds. Isn't that math? Okay, we're okay. We're moving. Momentum. On. <laughs> no, I was talking about magnets. Oh, the magnets. Well, of course, magnets is physical. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay. okay. So uh, my favorite thing today, I really enjoyed the Adam Bello session quite a bit, and he, Mike, and I were actually there, mm-hmm. and they ran through about ten different websites. What's the name of that one? Kahoot. Oh. Yes. I didn't remember it. Uh, Kahoot was very time. cool. It was probably my favorite of the. You know, we ran through them all so quickly. Kahoot, mm-hmm. we got to actually use the most, which is why I think it was my favorite. Um, yeah, that one's cool. But it was a really neat question and answer app that you could use for... Uh, yeah, I'm all about stuff that's free, that you can yeah. use quickly in like five minutes. Yeah, and this is a definitely a bell ringer style mm-hmm. of, of thing, and you can use it from uh, any internet connected device. So it didn't necessarily need to be a phone or a phone, tablet or iPad, tablet. Doesn't matter. Laptop, and, laptop. Yeah. And I'm happy to say that seems to be a rising theme because we also talked to the Classflow people, yes, who um, had a, a web-based thing as well, so you could use it on any kind of tablet or PC or Mac or whatever. Or smart board. Or smart or board. Yeah, board. whatever you've got, you can use it, and that was free also. But I think it'll take a, some a little bit of time to set up yeah. as far as the presentation part right. goes. But, but very intriguing. Yeah. Possible. Yes. The whole idea, though, that it doesn't matter what kind of device you have, that needs to happen. Right. I think. Mm-hmm. I wish they could all just get along anyway. You know, right. But <laughs> apparently yeah. not. So. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, we also got to visit with the uh, the TechSmith folks. Uh, yeah. The people that brought you Camtasia and Snagit, and what a wonderful system they've got going. Yes, and they told me straight from their mouths if you try the speech to text to close caption your videos, it does actually learn to get better at figuring out what you're saying. So stick nice. with it. You know, because the first time, the first one I did, it was like, what? What do you think I? Who do you think I am that I would say that? Like <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. The English people will be going nuts right now. Yeah, uh, so so having a little trouble with like X axis and graph and things like that. Thinks I want to grasp axes or something. I don't know. You know, know that's that's a problem that teachers have sometimes. It is a problem. We've got ninety nine problems. Yeah, and all of them. Uh, <laughs> all of in them. Our book. Are in, in our book. book. Ninety nine problems. <laughs> Take them down, pass them around. 98 problems still on the wall. That would be actually kind of fun to do one day, is put a whole bunch of problems on the wall. 99 problems. I think that's a good idea. Uh, And also we visited ISTE Central, which is in our background this afternoon. Um, We all perused the books, and uh, Christina found a cool shirt. And um, we're really looking forward to see what tomorrow has. Oh, you were pointing at the background. Yes. I got... No, 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 right. It's more here. Yes. Great times. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow.